fact. That's exactly what I'll do. So, welcome to the stream, folks. Here we are. Playing Vampire Survivors again. Today I'm going to try and take on the Reaper. And the reason I'm 13 minutes in is I, I was trying to set up a stream. I wasn't much luck with the stream quality. I've been having some issues with my OBS since the recent update. I think I've now finally got on top of it. A couple of tweaks to my old FX based PC. And I appear to be cooking again. This is looking. Stream looks like it's okay. It says excellent connection. So let's hope it stays that way. So the target here is when you get to 30 minutes and the the level is complete, you get a chance to take on the Reaper. Now I thought the Reaper just came and killed you. And that was it. Signified the end of the level. But um, I've been talking to people online and they've said, oh no, you can beat the Reaper. There's videos on how to do it. So I watched a few videos, as you do. Some of them seem quite old, and I think may have been in a previous version of the game. And some of them seemed quite interesting, but quite difficult. So I don't think we're going to do it in this, this stream, because I haven't, I've haven't. i stupidly managed to add the garlic, but I actually wanted the laurel, and I can't get... <laughs> that away now, so I don't know what I'm going to do. I'll just bash on. I mean, what the heck? Oh, I don't know, right here, we've picked up something on high level. Eh, base damage. We'll have the clock lancet. So we'll pick Pascalina. She's got these little um, rune tracers that bounce around, which are fantastic. They can do quite a devastating amount of damage when you get to higher level. Especially if you're in a confined space. They are really, really, really good. Um, like I said, I don't have the. Uh, as soon as, as soon as um, the Grim Reaper gets me, I'm going to die instantly. So I don't think this is going to go the way I was hoping it would. However, we're halfway in. Let's just let's just persevere. Enjoy it for what it is. If nothing else. Get lots of sweet gold. For power ups later on. So the good news about this game is that it went fully live yesterday. Um, full retail version, version 1.0. Um, I've only been playing this game for a few weeks. I've probably sunk in about 40 or 50 hours already, which is more than I put in quite a lot of games, to be fair. And really, I mean, do you accomplish much in this game aside from a good, <laughs> a good bit of um, 30 minutes worth of fun? I like this game so much that I, I bought my copy and just before it went to version 1.0 I bought a copy for my son because I know he'll like this game too and we might end up playing it at the same time so I stuck it in his own Steam account rather than sharing it from mine and I also reached out to the games developer yesterday just asking if it was possible to buy some keys direct so that I can maybe do a little giveaway because I love this game so much I want other people to enjoy it um, I'm hoping the the developer gets back to me soon. They may have thought I was being a little bit cheeky in contacting them just before the price went up, but I actually quite happily paid the full retail price. It's still only something like six dollars. It's, it's nothing. So I would like to get my hands on a couple of licenses and maybe even five, something like that, and give them away as little competition prizes as part of the channel. And if you want to be involved in those little competitions, you need to subscribe. You see what I did there? I'm baiting you to subscribe to the channel because you might get a free game key worth $6. But it's a good game key. I mean, look at this game. It's fantastic. It runs so well. It's just silly. Now, I'll say it runs really well on the Steam Deck. In my experience, until you get to the later levels where it starts to chug a bit, I'm going to have to have a look on the Steam Deck. I don't know if maybe there's a, a configuration issue. I've got the lag fix um, turned on, and yet it seems to lag like crazy when you get to the, the really busy later levels, you know, when you're getting very close to the 30 minute mark and the screen's absolutely swamped with, uh, with these bad guys. So I don't know if it's got something to do with that. I'll maybe try some different settings. But I have put, it's probably about an 80-20 split 
between playing on the Steam Deck and the One X player. The One X player's got a bigger screen, 8.4 inches versus 7, 1600p. The vibrancy of the colours is just a little bit nicer, and I have to admit, it just, it just feels, it feels just a little bit better on the One X player. Now, I wouldn't say that about many games. The Steam Deck's definitely got the um, the edge when it comes to the the graphics power, which is why it's a bit strange. The game, this game, runs a little bit poor um, compared to the One X player. Maybe there's more, maybe it's more CPU bound on this game. Obviously, the One X player 400 you has got um, eight cores, 16 threads, whereas the Steam Deck's got four cores, eight threads. I think it is, isn't it? So, you know, it's it's kicked in the weeds from the CPU side, but from the GPU side. It absolutely uh, devastates the one X player. Ah, oh, look at that! We're doing so well. We're already onto the coins only. Oh no, that means oh, I'm definitely not going to get the laurel with an armor. That's that's it now. Oh dear! So you can see at the top here. Yeah, it's because I foolishly added one garlic. That'll learn me. Never mind. Let's just get to the end and have fun anyway. Hey, you never know, mate. I might survive. I might get lucky and freeze the Reaper every single time. He unfreezes. <laughs> we shall soon see. Only 12 minutes to go. I appreciate anybody that stayed with the stream this long. Still got an excellent connection, well, that's that's very good. I'm, I'm very pleased with how my streaming software is working now, so it's all the little things. I've noticed that some of my last videos, Deathloop for example, was really stuttery and slow. I hadn't noticed until actually I'd posted. It was sometime after and I was a bit disappointed with that, so I may reshoot them. You see, I like to do stuff in one take. I don't really have the time to do lots of uh, editing. Right at the start, when I first started the channel up, I did try a bit of editing. I'm not sure the results were all that great. It's not really my specialism. Neither streaming, to be fair, but hey, I'm having a go. That's the main thing. So. Okay, we're going up to that silver coin, I think. Silver coin, silver uh, ring. So if you like what I do, like, share and subscribe. So I'm just going to take on these little wooden guys. I think, I think I've got no chance against the Reaper. But let's just see how, if I can last more than 20 or 30 seconds. I think that would be a good challenge here. And then it will prove that my uh, my theory is sound. Just next time I need to remember to get Laurel and not accidentally pick the uh, garlic. I know the garlic is the thing that everybody seems to target. Hopefully maybe that will dispel that myth a little bit. You want Laurel. Much better. As you can see this is still running. Fantastic. Flying away. I mean, I couldn't tell you if it was running at 60 FPS because I can't get my performance metrics running on just this game for some reason. It works on all others. So it's a strange one. But it certainly feels smoother on this than it did on my Steam Deck, which is a bit strange. But it is what it is. Okay, that's we've got some more coins. Always good. Right, we're going to the right here. Yeah, or the left even, I should say. Bit bad when you forget your left and your right. Okay, so just over here, we should find a ring. It'll be on one of these. Oh, if I can run past it, my spot. There's that guy. The egg laying cape. For want of a better word. Oh, it's gone too high. So 
he'll, he'll take some damage. Eventually he'll drop an egg. And that'll give me some sort of buff. 0 0.1 buff. Where the heck is this bit I'm looking for? Let's go around here somewhere. So much happening on the screen, it's hard to spot. It'll be easy to spot in a minute. Let's get these guys flamed. Let's make some space. Let's take a bath. Hit off him. Oof, he felt like he was speeding up there. Hey, this ring's got around here somewhere. Ah, there it is. Look. Right in the middle. Pop. Excellent. So that was a clock lancet, so I think that gives that a bit of a buff. Uh, this guy will give me some sort of buff as well. With his special egg. I love the fact there's pretty much no backstory to this game. You can just pick it up. I've got, there you go. Oh. Not point, not, not five. I don't know if that's a good buff or not. Oh, I can level up my ring now. That's good. All oh, right, so there's a ring, there's a skull. That's a, a negative buff. There's another ring down the bottom there. What's the question mark? Now we've got eight and a bit minutes. Let's try and bash across that question mark and see what it gives us. See, and all the time I've been playing this game, I've never ever made the effort to really explore because it's just the same repetition. But there is a point in exploring because there's those little buffs lying around. And I never appreciated that until just the last couple of days when somebody said, Oh, you can kill the Reaper. Right, will we get over there in the next eight minutes? I think we could. Come on, let's bash on it. Push ahead, see how far we get. <coughs> Ah, let's pick that up. I always like extra coins. Now, we're only level 63, which is pretty good. The last time I tried this, I got all the way up to level 120, I think it was, before um, before the Reaper arrived. That was a real mistake, because the Reaper was absolutely nails by that point. And I believe you want to keep your level down. Okay, level 63 is probably still too way too high. But again, I enjoy just taking guys on and <laughs> having fun. I'm not sure there's much fun in standing in the same spot for 29 minutes and then piling loads of power-ups just to try and drop the Reaper's core strength. Obviously, that's what you do when you want to uh, when you want to like beat them the legitimate, quick and easy way. Ah, I'm just gonna have a bit of fun. Let's just see. I mean, like I say, I think I've got no chance because I've currently got, I've currently got the garlic equipped. So I'm not even looking at the stream screen. I probably should. I'm just looking at my one X player. I'll look at the stream when I'm doing a treasure chest. That appears to be running pretty well on the screen, so that's all good news. Excellent. So we're just under seven minutes. How close are we? Oh, we're close. Right, I think we can make this. Let's see what this, uh... Oh, this other buff is. And see, I think the frame rate has perhaps dropped a little bit now. But I still think it feels like it's... Oofed. Like it feels like it's in the, the 40s. Oh, I've got a, a jumbo chest. Excellent. I love the music on this as well. Just so, uh, so different to the kind of game, the graphics as well, the, the gameplay. It's, it's all, it's, it's a real mashup. I think that's what I like about it the most. 
Right, it's right here in front of us. We've made it. With some minutes to spare. Ah, there it is, I'm guessing. Oh yeah, it must be, because look at all those things that have just spawned right at it. Oh, easy peasy. Oh. It was just a power up then, that was, was just a power up of baddies spawning. Oh, what have I got? Who's this guy? Oh, I've unlocked another character. The vampire's in another coffin. Oh. Ah, I have unlocked another character. Excellent. Huh. Oh, well, that's good. I'll play with, have a play uh, with that character later on. So we're six minutes now. Let's head straight down to this. What's that icon? The red thing, whatever it may be. Straight down. So, if you've tried to avoid the hype of Vampire Survivors, I'm just going to say it right now. Give up. This is one of these these games of the of the year. Everyone needs to play it. The developers done a brilliant job with this game. They deserve all the heaps of praise that are, that are getting levelled in their direction. This is like Hades from a couple from what was it two years ago? Hades came out. The amount of love the developer got for that game. This developer needs that much love because it is just so much fun. What's not to like? It's just... It's just a mad romp of a game. Love it. I'd love to know how, how large the developer is that made this game. I'm guessing they're quite small. But they've obviously put a huge amount of time into this game. It's just, there's just, I just think it's perfect. I don't think they can add to it. I like the fact that it runs on the 1X player. It runs on the Steam Deck. I'm sure I've got, well, I could probably run that on the FX PC I'm running just now. And, you know, all the hardware, the main hardware that's inside it is, is old. You know, the CPU's like nearly 10 years old. The graphics card is six or so years old you know you don't need to buy a fifteen hundred dollar rtx 4090 ti whatever it just just works on what you've got in fact i'm going to try it on my old g i've got gpd one the um it doesn't get much love at the moment Ma mainly because you know, i've got the one x put on the steam deck to heat love on and this it's a nice little five inch screen but it's just a five inch screen and I just feel it's a little bit, I don't know, it just feels like it's a little bit too much of a compromise. 720p, 5 inch, I think in games like this though, it's got a real, you know, if, it, if I can get a run in at a decent FPS, then it'll definitely be worth trying. Now, I think I tried Hades on it, and it would run at 30 FPS, but only only when it was quiet. Um, it usually chugged along about 20, so that this game will probably cripple it. But we'll give it a try. So I'll maybe report back on that. I might have to stream from that, because you can plug HDMI into that little thing as well, so... Oh. Now, where is the... Where is the pickup? Get right on it. I'm not sure what I'm looking for. We only have a couple of minutes, so best not delay too much. Answers on a postcard, where it is that I'm looking for? Oh, it must be up here somewhere. Because there's that other guy, or maybe it's just him I'm looking for. Oh no, it's, it's over to the side here, is it? I'm going to try and get it before 
throw it for the last couple of minutes when the Reaper comes. Okay, I'm starting to struggle. Up here a little bit. There's one of these uh, flame sponges down here. I'm sure, somebody called it a sponge of fire or something, so. I'll copy that. Sounds good to me. Ah! Oh no, it's just a standard orb. Get another little treasure chest. Get a little bit more coinage before the, uh, the Reaper arrives. Okay. 139 coins. Always, always appreciated. Right, drop your egg. Oh, he's getting closer. Yes. Oh, a 0 0.1 buff. That was a little bit better than the last one. Right, where is... Where's the thing I'm looking for? It's here somewhere. It's got to be. It wasn't just him. He was guarding it. Oh, there it is there. Metaglio Wright. Channel dark powers to curse the bearer. Oh. Okay. Yeah. Let's see what that does. What should I probably do now? Let's find one of those little dead end squares. Got the one of them around here somewhere. Where I can hole up in. And try and get the Grim Reaper trapped. Oh, here we go. So I bet when I get in here. Yeah, look. Absolutely lethal with the the, uh, the rune lancer. So if I get him in here beside me, he'll get absolutely ruined. All right, so we'll just stand here now. Again, I don't have. Oh, I don't have the um, laurel, which I think is going to be my downfall. To be fair. Let's get power that thing up. Try and get some quick power up in this, this quick. Can't even see my guy. Still running pretty well, I have to say. Oh, here he is. Oh no, he never, he never froze at all. Right, I've got one revive. See if we can get him locked. Come on, freeze. There we go, we've got him frozen. So look at this, we're absolutely annihilating him. As long as he refreezes as soon. Oh no. 15 seconds. Now, I think if I can get in there and have the laurel, I'll have a good chance at nailing him. Yep. That was pretty good. I enjoyed that. I hope you guys enjoyed watching it too. We only lasted 15 seconds. A little bit of a disappointment. I have lasted several minutes before, but you really need to have the laurel so that you get a little bit of invincibility. Just just for like a second, and then you in that second you want to hit him with a lancet and freeze him again. And then you just rinse and repeat. Wasn't so lucky that time. Well, maybe next time. And I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.